been starting on the construction of a round pole greenhouse made out of white ash and black locust predominantly uh, that will attach here to the south side of our home now that we installed a $60 beautiful used sliding glass door from Finger Lakes Reuse. Really wonderful shout out to them. They're an amazing local reuse company. Um, the locust I harvested from a friend's woods and split and peeled by hand. So those were free. Uh, the white ash are all byproducts of the light thinning that I'm doing at the main edible acres nursery and I'm peeling those with a draw knife as well with a really simple setup. Those are free and a byproduct of management that was happening anyway. And so the wood thus far is zero dollars and part of a timber stand improvement. And then I just simply used, a friend of mine recommended these timber lock screws. So I'm using six inch screws for the top. Uh, not trying to promote this company, I just think so far it felt pretty promising. They're really stout, they really bite. You definitely need an impact driver to drive them through. But I pre-drilled um, where the ash met the locust and made a little recess with an electric chainsaw and a chisel so that they receive uh, with a little, little bit of tightness there. Still tremendous amount to be done. I need to figure out the exact placement of these poles uh, peel the last of them. Obviously the ends will be trimmed off and these extensions of the ash I want to leave for now until I know exactly where I want to uh, do that. But the other day my good friend Juan gave me a heads up that a friend of his um, has a home that's being demolished this week. It had tons of mold and other issues and we went over there together and we were able to reclaim a crazy amount of sliding glass doors and double pane insulated windows, uh, really heavy duty double uh, insulated door uh, doors with wooden frames. And so we're gonna see if we can skin out the east, the south, and the west side almost entirely with reclaimed windows that we're gonna get uh, trashed this week. It felt great to salvage them. Um, then the question is, and this is where I'd love some input from folks, is this roof line. I'm leaning heavily towards using Tuftex polycarbonate. Let me pause here and show you what I mean. This little shed wing I added onto the garage five years ago. Uh, heavy snow loads, heavy hail, branches falling on it, never had a problem. It's getting um, dirty now, but I think if I were to clean it, it would be fine. But I'm leaning towards using this material as the roofing for the greenhouse. It was easy to install. It's not cheap, but I think for about 330 bucks, I'd have all the material I need to put a roof on that. And it allows a lot of light through. Now I know I'd lose insulation value compared to the corrugated um, or the um, double wall poly stuff, but I'd love input from folks. Do you have some suggestions of what could be a good roofing material for this? Um, the coldest, coldest nights, I'm comfortable with figuring out a way to string up a system where we can pull blankets down along the roof line to hold warm air in there. Um, lots more designing to be done. This afternoon, my friend Jonathan Bates is coming by of um, the Paradise Lot fame in Holyoke, Massachusetts. He and Eric Tonsmeyer made um, really amazing bio shelter out in Massachusetts. And he's gonna take a look at this with me and we're gonna brainstorm what it looks like to include a climate battery or a ground air heat transfer GAT system in these permanent raised beds. I'm gonna film that discussion and that'll be a separate video. So yeah, about 12 feet deep, 16 feet long, um, thus far $10. It'll, I think by the end of the day, It'll be under $400 for the whole thing. Hopefully lots of neat innovations in there. I'd love feedback from folks, suggestions, ideas, photos, links to videos of other discussions. And there's lots of design details that I'm sure you're looking at and wondering what the heck, like why is this not connected? Stay tuned on all that. These are all thoughtful design elements, I hope. <laughs> and we'll see how it evolves. But the hope is within a week or two, we've got this uh, buttoned up and filled with soil so that coming into February or when the light energy is strong enough We can really start um, Seriously gardening in this area 
<clears throat> and enjoying the space. There's a plan to put some chairs and a little table in here. And when it's sunny but cold, we can open the sliding glass door, let the heat from the greenhouse come into the home or the heat from the home heat the greenhouse as needed and that this will be an extension of our living room. So really excited to see how this evolves. Uh, get in the conversation and let me know what I'm missing or what sort of things you'd like to see. And we'll see how this all evolves. I'll keep you posted as we go. And I did not forget about the question and answers video. It's just the weather's been decent. I've been trying to make a lot of things happen. So I will address that and make a very thorough long form video addressing all your wonderful questions when it's nasty out and I need a break. <laughs> Thanks for watching.